For the past few years, the city of Denver has waited for its basketball team to break through. Now, hopes for the Nuggets are mile high since the return of a favorite son. Everybody energized with the arrival of Chauncey Phillips. A hit now. Oh, what a pass from Phillips and Anthony down the other end. Oh, the Nuggets looking sharp. Phillips waits for help. Chauncey launches. Mr. Big Shot. There goes Chauncey. Down the middle. Kenyon and the pandemonium. That is why you trade for Chauncey Phillips. Just by chance, an early season deal landed Chauncey Billups back on his old doorstep. Being back home allows him to reconnect with his basketball roots by dropping by the rec center where he first learned the game. Doing all right? Yeah. I was like my safe haven, man. Like, no matter what was going on in my life or at school or in the neighborhood, like, once I go in those doors, it was like everything was Everything was good. I didn't worry about anything. Retracing his old steps reminds Chauncey how he couldn't wait to play the game he loved. The center opened up at 9 o'clock, so I'd be outside the doors like 8.55 with my ball. What's up, boy? What's up, boy? What's happening? If I wasn't here at school or at home, that's the only places I ever was at. Uh, there was no if I wasn't here. I was always here, always. But just being there didn't mean he was guaranteed a chance to play. When the older guys was there, um, a lot of times they wouldn't let me on the court. You know what I mean? He said I was too young, so I would sit and watch, try to learn through watching. They did let me play. It was like I wasn't playing. They wouldn't pass me the ball. They just let me get out there and fill a spot. As Billups got more experience in those games, his legend began to spread all the way to George Washington High School. Kids would come to school and talk about Chauncey playing in pickup basketball games uh, with guys who were in the men's rec league and running with them when he was in sixth and seventh grade. Playing with the older guys, um, I learned a lot, you know what I mean, and through them teaching me lessons and schooling me, so to speak, on the court. So when I played with the guys that were my age, um, it was easy. I had to implement what I called the superstar rule and that's where you could make one basket and then somebody else on your team you know, had to make the next one because Chauncey could play alone against the best five kids in the team and maybe in the school, you know, and beat them 10 or 15 to nothing. But outside of gym class, there were no such rules. From the moment he joined the George Washington basketball team, Chauncey was able to show off his full range of talents. I don't think ever in our history had there been a freshman who could start on a George Washington High School varsity basketball team. But it was clear that even at 14, 14 and a half years of age, that he could compete with any of the kids on the team. So he walked in the door and, and earned a starting spot. Suddenly, every crowd was standing room only because there were people from you know, all over many neighborhoods just coming to see Chauncey play. While Billups grew as a player, he also matured as a person. As he got older and better and more well-known within the city and even the region, he almost became more humble. You know, there was, it became less and less about Chauncey and more and more about the team or the other kids in class. 100% of that, man, is, 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 is from my mother and father and my grandparents and the people that raised me like every day. Just taught me that, you know, no matter what's going on, you always gotta be like a man of great character. You know what I'm saying? Be respectful and show respect if you want respect. I've never compromised that. I just believe in that, you know, wholeheartedly. And that's probably why, you know, people say the things that they say about me. Coming up in Real NBA. Hey, boy, don't be running for me. Chauncey Billups visits his neighborhood rec center to meet up with some old friends who know him by his original nickname. Smooth. <laughs> Pistons up three. Chauncey to rip at the foul. I back top side to Chauncey. Here's the long up. Up. He got it. It's happened, Detroit.
When Chauncey Billups was traded to the Nuggets in early November, he brought with him a sterling resume, three All-Star selections, and a Finals MVP award. Now that he's back home in Denver, his career has come full circle. What's up, kid? What's up with you? Good? Oh, how you doing? How are you? I can remember just dreaming of, of one day being able to make it and, and come back home and be at that rec center and, you know, have kids looking up to me. I, I just remember dreaming about stuff like that. It's, it's no place like home. You know what I mean? Especially when all your family's here. Um, and, and the people that taught you the game, that helped you become so successful, are here. But here comes Phillips. He pulls it up. Yes. And they're able to root for you every night and sit in the stands and watch you, you know, to see if they help grow. Y'all still beating up on these girls, man? Just where we grew up at. You know, I grew up here, he grew up here. The family grew up around here. So this was like home, away from home. As a kid, Chauncey's prowess on this rec center court earned him the nickname he still cherishes today. And it's not Mr. Big Shot. The name that I grew up with is Smooth. His neighborhood name is Smooth. We call him Smooth. <laughs> like, there were people that didn't even really know my real name until I got to high school and I started being in the newspaper and they started knowing that my name was Chauncey. So it's a name that, you know, that, that's dear to me, man, that if anybody says that, no matter where I'm at, I know, like, they from the crib, or they from my neighborhood, or they know me. What's up, man? What's up, How you doing, man? Good to see you, boy. You picked the right one. Nice. That's about the only, about the only one you can beat in that's here. <laughs> right now, Chauncey comes in this building. He still plays Pinochle. I'm going to know all the games he plays. He plays the game. He's part of the city. You did? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Billups couldn't be more comfortable with his current situation, which is in stark contrast to his first unsuccessful stint with the Nuggets. In 1999, his second NBA season, Denver became his third NBA city. And because of injuries and immaturity, it wasn't the right time for him to return home. I was 22, trying to find myself, solidify myself as an NBA player. Failed to do that. Now I'm 32, I found myself, and I validated everything that I always thought I could be. From Skyland Rec Center and the George Washington High School, Denver, please welcome home. Now, Chauncey brings a touch of discipline to Denver, and the team has been on a tear since his arrival. I think it was just to come in and be me. He on and off the court. I'm not trying to step on nobody's toes and just, just be the winner that I've always tried to be. It gets rubbed off on the team and it's rubbed off on, on everybody and you see us having, you know, some kind of success. With the same leadership, timely shooting, and lockdown defense he exhibited as a champion in Detroit, Billups has breathed new life into the Nuggets. The right added ingredient to make things happen for Denver this year. But besides making an immediate impact on the court, Chauncey's homecoming also has allowed him to strengthen his ties to his old neighborhood. It's more important to us that he was an all-star man instead of just an all-star player. And when, he, when you see what he gives back to the community, that's, that's really what's important to us. He's an all-star man. That's your cousin? Oh yeah, tell myself what's up. Went to the same schools they go to. Um, I, I faced some of the same adversity that they faced. Um, I know the struggle, I know what's going on. So for me to be able to get back and actually see it is, is special. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, Mr. King? How you doing? You doing all right? I'm good, I'm good. I always dreamed about um, being successful and being able to come back to my neighborhood and do nice things for for people that um, a lot of times don't have that opportunity. To have done it and, and to continue to do it, um, it's a dream come true. 